Hey, what's up, YouTube? Thanks for watching another one of my videos. This video here is gonna be about carbon fiber vinyl. As you can tell, I already did all my trims. You can go to my channel and check out those the two previous videos. So now I just have this center console left to do. So I'm gonna show you how to remove it and how to wrap it. And I'm also gonna give you some extra tips. Now, this was a little hard to remove, but let me show you how to do it. So we'll get a flathead screwdriver, stick it on one of the sides and pop this thing out. The only thing that it's holding that in there are these two clips. You get one on each side. Alright, and on this one over here, you just slide it down, it pops out. And you don't really have to remove the hardness cable, just, just leave the part hanging. Alright, now I proceed by removing these two black screws over here and just keep them on a safe place. And once those two screws have been removed, these part just comes right out. Now, two more screws right over here. After that, just remove the shifter cover, start off by one side, and once again, they're held by these clips right there. So, start off by one side and move to the other one. You get two on each side and one at the bottom, if I'm not mistaken. After that, just lift up the cover upward to kind of get it out of the way. Now, I'm going to have my son here assisting by removing two more screws. And one of them is right there, and the other one's right over here. So while he's unscrewing those screws, I'm going to go ahead and remove these um, hazard light switch. And we should have another screw underneath there. And it's right there. And that switch is dirty, and that's probably one of the reasons that lately when I press on the hazard lights... Uh, the button stays down, doesn't doesn't shoot shoot back out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a good clean. Probably use some degreaser, and I'll I'll see how that goes. Now to remove these harness cable, just get a thin screwdriver and stick it on the side, and it should come right off. There we go. And same thing with this hazard light switch. Just stick the screwdriver in between there, and it should come right off. Now, once all the screws have been removed, these parts better be popped out, and be careful when you're pulling on it, because if you put it too hard, you're going to break on it. Keep in mind, it's made out of plastic, so there's two clips on the passenger side right there, and that's pretty much the only thing that it's been held on to the, to the console. And after that, uh, you have these harness cables underneath these foam, and let me show you how to remove them. Now, press on the sides and the harness cable should come apart. And to remove the other part, just press that little clip upward and push the harness cable towards the stereo and it should come apart. Alright, so now it's ready to be removed, so just lift it up. And since that, we have one more harness cable right there. So, let's go ahead and remove that and get it out of the way. So now you just go ahead and put it sideways and it should come right right around that uh, shift cover. Alright, so I'm just going to fast forward into this quick little demo. I don't want to make this video longer than it already is. And like I said before, I have a few videos on my channel so you guys are more than welcome to check them out. I wrapped my trims and my double din best well that one seemed to be a little tricky so you might want to go check them out and since you're there please rate the video if you find them helpful or if you like them please give it a thumbs up now going back to this vinyl um on one of the trims that I did I noticed that the vinyl started to come off and the reason to that was because I didn't give it enough feet on the sides so I will recommend giving it about an inch or a little bit more than an inch all around so you can wrap it behind the back. Now another thing that you might want to consider and you can do is adding crazy glue. But just on the corners that you're going to wrap around the back. Don't put any crazy glue or any other kind of glue on top of the, on top of the trim. Because otherwise when you remove these vinyls you're going to have a mess. And that's one thing that I seem to like about this vinyl that if you know if you don't like it you can just remove it and there's no mess no residue or no glue left behind it just comes right off and you know it seems like nothing ever happened 
So that's something you might want to consider adding some crazy glow on the corners.